Well, one issue is that we probably overestimated the size of the Soviet economy and its ability to innovate. And so we were terrified of a paper tiger, as it turned out. And the other issue is that we have not done as, as good a job understanding how innovation has enhanced our standard of living here, even though it doesn't show up on the record books as GDP. So we were really worried about an opponent who we thought was overtaking us. And in some ways, in science, they were. They, Soviets were the first to put a person into outer space. And they had uh, full employment. And we went through these episodes of great recession or unemployment. So we could look at them and say, well, they have a lot of favorable things going on. But we really didn't understand the degree to which their circumstances were more dire and ours were, in fact, better. The other um, thing that I think we've learned is that we have become more like the socialist democracies of Western Europe. And they have become more like us. They are now trying to open up to markets a little bit more. They're trying to loosen up the labor system a little bit. And we're trying to do some other things to create more equality of opportunity. I know that we say America is the land of opportunity, which in many respects it is. But if you actually ask the question, if you were a young child and you were poor, where do you have a greater chance of moving into a middle class? It's not in the United States. It's in Western Europe. And that's because of the healthcare systems and the educational systems and the, the support, income support that a lot of those families get. So in terms of equality of opportunity, we are moving more towards like the um, Western European nations.